Good morning, everyone. My name is Mark. I'm the CEO of the Free Now Group, and I would like to use the next 10 minutes to give you a little bit of insight of what we do and where we're heading in the future. Most of you probably know ride hailing in this context, especially in Europe, um, the brand MyTaxi. MyTaxi by far was the earliest company that we had in our portfolio and was really the nucleus of ride hailing in Europe. But by now, the group has expanded massively, and today, the Free Now Group is more than five different brands. And we are really the leading ride-hitting company in Europe and the fastest growing company in South America. And I would like to go with you through the next couple of charts to explain you a little bit more where we're heading. Free now is not only Europe. Free now is a lot more. We have five brands. We are active in more than 17 countries. We cover more than 130 cities worldwide. And we have 1,400 employees. Actually, by the end of 2019, we will have more than 2,000 employees in our group. Today, more than 250,000 cars and drivers are partnering with us to transport more than 21 million passengers each year. It's massive, and it's a massive growth story. If we look where the company was three years ago, in 2016, the company was less than 15, 13 times smaller than it is today. We grew by 13x over the last three years. I don't know a single company that has shown such a tremendous growth in Europe anywhere, not even in our industry. If we look at the last year, even last year on a tremendous base, we managed to grow the company by 80%. This is an, a massive, massive growth. So if we think about ride hailing in this context as a vertical, it is really a true growth engine for the whole free now group. Ultimately, all these results ended to transport more than 150 million people and doing 150 million rides in a single year. And the interesting fact is, more than 45% of all these rides are not done in Europe, but they are done in South America. So it's much more than just a European country. Diversification for us is really important. We have a very, very large user base, and for us it's important to see urban mobility as a holistic picture. And we believe that ride hailing can offer more services, and that's why we looked at micro mobility to launch a new service on our customer base. The whole project, we started in 2018. It took us only three months from idea origination to implementing a first pilot in Lisbon, and we launched a new brand, Hive. It was a massive success. If we look at the numbers, in the first couple of weeks, we reached 50,000 customers using our micromobility service without any advertising and any PR and any marketing. And the real important thing is, more than 50% are reoccurring users. They use our service more frequently, and that's on a weekly basis. These are typically KPIs that you don't see in ride hailing, and that's why we see it's a such a strong fit to our existing portfolios. Our key to success is working very closely with the local governments. Anything that we do in the taxi industry, anything new that we do in the ride hailing industry, we do it in very close collaboration with the local governments and the regulators, because we believe in the long run that's the only way to succeed and really change urban mobility for the good. And that's the same thing that we're doing for micromobility. If we look at the successes that we had, that instilled a lot of confidence in our team and to our shareholders, and we're going to expand this product into more than 20 cities in the next year. Ultimately, talking about growth, 2019 is everything is about growth. We're going to scale the company even faster than in the past. And we had a good, good start at the beginning of the year. The first major launch that we had in January was Mexico. We just launched Mexico three days ago, and we're doing more than 10,000 rides per day already, only after three days in that city. This is massive. It's more than seven rides per minute launched only after three days. The second very big launch that we did is Geneva with the brand Captain. When we acquired Captain in 2018, it was still named Chauffeur Privé. Since those four months, or within four months, we actually developed the tech stack in something that can be internationalized into more markets than just France. We rebranded it so we could use the brand to internationalize because Chauffeur Privé is very difficult to internationalize. And now we launched Lisbon last year and we launched Geneva just a couple of days ago, and there's much, much more to come. For my taxi, we are already present in all European metropolitan areas. So for us, it's really expanding into smaller cities across Europe. And we will um, expand into the first city, Gijón, which is in the north of Spain, but we will do more than 40 cities this year and going into second tier cities and expanding our footprint. Now, one of our highlights for this year will be the captain launch in London. London is one of the key metropolitan areas in Europe, and we're going to make a massive hit on the city starting in March or April this year. Where does this leave us? Um, Rebranding for us is really important, and 
making the free now group visible. So the collaboration with the other verticals of its share now, or reach now, or park now, or charge now, we're going to take our biggest asset in Europe with the most visibility and with the biggest brand recognition, and they're going to take the lead in the rebranding effort, and we're going to do this in 2019. All the other brands, we would look at on a phased approach, because as I said, growth is for us a fundamental strategic objective, and we always have to balance um, a quick rebranding where there's a hindrance on growth. Ultimately, within the next two to three years, everything will be rebranded to free now. Summing it up, our intention is really to make urban mobility and on-demand mobility more affordable, more accessible, and more sustainable. And we want to use our existing customers of 21 million customers and more than a quarter of a million drivers as a basis for massive growth in the future. So if you think about ride-hailing, think about growth, because that is our core objective. Thank you very much.